At least 22 people injured in this attack, 18 taken to the hospital by ambulance, four went themselves, and now we're getting our first look at some of those injuries. A passenger on board that train shared a series of photos of his charred hair. All of this happened during the height of the morning commute at the Parsons Green tube station. That passenger says he was sitting on the train when the explosion happened. He describes it as a really hot, intense fireball above his head. He says there were people injured worse than he was. In the video, you can see the fire on board. A train stopped on the platform. There appears to be a white plastic bucket inside a supermarket bag with a small fire burning. A commuter says a woman described it to him as a bag, a flash, and then a bang. That commuter says he saw several people injured, many of them trampled. Police are saying the fire was caused by the detonation of an improvised explosive device. A timer was found on that device. British security say it's a sign the intent was to cause greater damage. Police say many of those injured suffered flash burns. The London Ambulance Service says the injuries are not thought to be serious or life threatening. People on board the packed train say it was chaos. Uh, loud enough for get your attention. Yeah, the ball of friend towards uh, my side. Prime Minister Theresa May tweeting from her office account, my thoughts are with those injured at Parsons Green and emergency services who are responding bravely to this terrorist incident. And we're also hearing this morning from London's mayor as well. Take a listen. Over the last uh, few weeks uh, and months, the counter-terror experts have been saying uh, that what we've seen over the last period isn't a spike. It's a shift in relation to attempts by terrorists to kill, to injure, and to disrupt our way of life. So we've seen attacks in uh, Barcelona, in Brussels, in Paris, in Rotterdam, in Stockholm, and of course in Manchester, in uh, Europe. Uh, I'm reassured that the police and security services are doing all they can to keep us uh, safe. President Donald Trump responding to the attack on Twitter. He's suggesting police may have missed an opportunity to prevent it. Look at the tweet here. Another attack in London by a loser terrorist. These are sick and demented people who were in the sights of Scotland Yard. Must be proactive. Now, there will be an increased police presence in London at this point. No arrests have been made. Kim Lucy, 7 News today in New England. And the situation in London is unfortunately all too familiar for people in England. Nerves are frayed in the city after several attacks already there this year. In May, a suicide bomber blew himself up outside of an arena in Manchester. As an Ariana Grande concert was wrapping up, 22 people died in that attack. More than 100 were injured. And then just a couple of weeks later, attackers crashed a van into people on London Bridge. After getting out of that van, they stabbed several people who were in the area. Eight died. Police later shot and killed the attackers. And a similar attack took place on Westminster Bridge in March. Police say that a man drove a car into a crowd, killing four, hurting 50 others. The suspect later stabbed and killed a police officer and then was shot and killed by police.